Hi everybody, I'm Bree the Plant Lady. And I'm Maiden. And today we are taking on the staking experiment here on the west side of the greenhouse where we've got all of these beautiful tomatoes growing. Now remember, this is inspired by a post I saw Meg Cowden do. And um, she grows primarily determinate varieties of tomatoes that don't grow exponentially. She also lives in Minnesota where the growing season is significantly shorter and quite different. Um, but we're gonna see what, what we can do for, for attempting this. We are growing all indeterminate varieties and uh, well, we've decided we're gonna two layers at different heights um, of the cattle fence panel. So today we just went to Tractor Supply and we got the giant stakes. And as you can see, we got the seven footers, yep. knowing that about a foot is gonna go into the ground. And um, well, then we're going to attach the cattle fence and see how it goes. And we're gonna try and surprise David by doing this without his help. <laughs> and hopefully we will do it correctly and he won't come and wanna change it. Nice. All right, so stay tuned to watch our progress. I think it looks good. I agree, I think this is great. So as you guys can see, Aiden has gotten these posts in, they're nice and secure. And we are just using some cattle fence that we already have. Now at Tractor Supply, they have lots more cattle fence and it's totally straight. So for the upper layer, I think as we need it in the next month or so, we'll just go and buy a fresh full length piece that we can put in the back of the truck that's flat. So we're just gonna do two more posts on the edge over here. And then we're gonna cut this piece of cattle fence to size. And we will have this completed. I think it's awesome. I think it's going to be really, as Meg said, easy because the tomatoes are just going to grow up through it mm -hmm. and we're not going to have to do nearly as much whining, winding and interacting. And you can see Aiden's just zip tying the corners to the posts. And I think this is going to work out great. I think so too. And when we need to do another layer, we will. Mm -hmm. But for now, this is so much easier than what we have been doing. This has been a really difficult place to stake tomatoes in general. Hot dog. Well, everybody, I hope this quick tomato staking tutorial will be helpful for all of you. I, I think we both agree this is this is on point. It is, and we can cover it with plastic easy too. Yeah, we were already contemplating keeping it up over the winter and then we could actually grate plastic and make a little mini greenhouse, especially if we have sudden cold snaps. Yep. So thanks to Meg Cowden at Seed the Fork, who first posted a tutorial on to do this, which is where I got the inspiration from. And I hope that you'll take this and, and apply it in your gardens. Well, thanks so much for watching everybody. Happy gardening. Mm -hmm.